Out of five mathematicians and seven engineers, a committee consisting of two mathematicians and three engineers are to be formed. In how many ways can this be done if one particular engineer must be in the committee? So, um, they give us total of mathematicians is five and they want to choose two of them and the engineers there are seven but um, they said that one engineer must be in the committee so this will reduce to six so and then they will choose um, two so instead of um, three this will become two so we have ncr so this is so now the total for math mathematicians so five and then they will choose two so this is equal to five factorial and on the bottom so we get two factorial and then we five minus um two factorial so now this is equal to five times four times three times two times one and on the bottom we have two factorial or just two times one and then five minus two factorial is the same as three factorial so we have three times two times one so now this one cancel so we can cancel the um three dot two dot one so this is equal to 20 over 2 or this is equal to 20 divided 2 is equal to 10. Now this is for the mathematicians. Mathematicians. Now let's do the engineers. So, um, so the engineers. So it's also in C and R. So this is equal to now they will um the total becomes six because one of them must be on the um committee. So now it becomes six C six two. So now this is equal to six factorial over two factorial times 6 minus 2 factorial now this is equal to 6.5.4 dot dot times 2 uh, times dot 3 dot 2 dot 1 so now on the bottom we have 2 dot 1 and then 6 minus 2 is 4 4 factorial so we got 4 dot 3 dot 2 dot 1 so now we can cancel um, 4 that three that two that one so now we what's left is six times five or thirty and on the bottom we got two times one or just two so thirty divided two is fifteen so now the answer is that um um n um six let's see c five two times six c two so now this is equal to so we did the um c five two which is ten times the um engineers which is fifteen so ten times fifteen is equal to one hundred fifty ways So this is the answer.